Whether it's having a background for your game itself or having a nice background for, let's see, oh, it's not showing up, there we go, for the main menu, no matter what it is, having a good background definitely helps your game and it makes the game come together itself. So we're gonna work on that today. Um, we're going to be doing something called Parallax Background. And so I've imported a few things, assets for this. I'll put in the link down below. Um, it'll be in the description, there'll be a link. So you can download it and we're gonna be using Godot for this. So uh, Godot allows for a very easy way to make a Parallax Background. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, actually we'll make it as a separate scene. So we'll have other node. We're gonna search up Parallax, oh, one R. Parallax layer and parallax background. So in general, um, there is something called canvas layer. Canvas layer allows us to draw something on top of our game, right? And parallax background is very similar where we allow it allows us to kind of have a layer of parallax background. Usually, because it's a background, it'll be in the back, right? So it'll be kind of like layer negative one or zero maybe. And so we're gonna use, be using that. So parallax background will be our base. We're gonna rename this to BG. I'm just gonna save it in our main scene as BG. And then in our main, I'm just gonna pop in our BG just so we'll be able to launch it with our background. All right, and then we're also going to be using parallax layer. This is the layers that are gonna be within our actual background. So each layer that we have will be a separate layer, essentially, if that makes sense. So now what we can do is, let's take a look at what's in here. We have motion with scale, offset, and mirroring. So We'll kind of look at why this is here, but keep in mind that these, the scale and offset are different than the position and scale of like the transform. So it'll be a lot different, but we'll we'll kind of look into it. So first of all, let's take our background. Let's say this will be our base background. We don't want this guy to move, okay? This will be our base background. It's just gonna sit in the middle, okay? And that's it. So we're gonna have this in the middle and yeah, that's it. So in our parallax background though, we want to have like planets that move. So we'll add this planet that kind of moves horizontally, right? So from the right to the left. And I'll kind of show you how to go the other way as well. So as you can see, the node has been automatically added in here. So we want to put it in our layer. So now we can start uh, duplicating it and it's just adding a few different planets that we want to move. Actually, we'll put three. So we'll put like one here and one on the top right. All right, let's see, what else do we have? Let's duplicate that layer, and we're gonna go in here and delete all of these. And in this layer, uh, we'll just, well, no, I'm not gonna rename it. We're gonna have far planets. And in these far planets, we're gonna put that in there. And let's duplicate this layer, which is one more time. Now let's duplicate the, whoop. I'm gonna lock this so we don't have to move it. And we're gonna have far layer in here. Ooh, let's delete that actually, we don't want that. And this one we're gonna have in the back. And as you can see, anything that's in the front will end up being in the front, right? So this will kind of be in front of those planets. So let's say I want the big planets to be in the front, right? Then I'd have to move that layer in the front. So we'll say big planets. So now there's that, this guy, there's a planet back here, but we can't see it because this big planet's in front of it, right? And so you can kind of play around with however you want to set up your uh, planet, or not planets, uh, background. Right, so it doesn't matter what kind of game, I'm just gonna start putting in things to kind of help along. Okay, we're gonna have stars here. I'm gonna put these stars in the back, in the middle kind of. Uh, let's put this here. Let's take this. I'm gonna move it using that. And, and I want this guy to be in the very back, so I'm gonna move it there. All right, now let's look into motion. So for motion, when it comes to motion, um, the motion allows us to, to move these sprites individually. Not individually, but uh, like all these sprites as a group, right, in this parallax background. So the first thing we have to do is actually mirror it. And the way we mirror it is by mirroring it at the exact point that it ends, so 600, so at the uh, x-axis. So if I write 600, it'll now mirror it, everything, at 600, right? So now I have to go into each one and I can actually do this easily by selecting one and control and then select another, go into motion, mirror, and just select put 600. And so now we've kind of duplicated everything, right? And now in our background, we're just gonna add a script. I'm gonna have it built in. And in our process function, 
we're going to have a uh, scroll dot offset dot x minus equals look minus equals um, we'll do 40 times delta double check that's right yeah that's right so that'll be relatively fast i hope um, and now i think that should be it there will be a little problem though hopefully did it crash? No, it didn't. Awesome. So now we have a moving background. However, as you might be able to tell, everything's moving at the same speed. So how do I slow things down? How do I make it faster? Well, this is actually pretty easy. Um, Godot allows us for, instead of doing this in our script, what we can do is go into our motion and use the scale. So let's say the big planets, I want to move really slow. So for the X thing, uh, scale, I'll do 0 0.3, or I guess both. Um, I think this one will leave, which one are these? The stars will actually also do relatively slow. So let's go to the layer here. So let's do stars, let's name it stars. And we'll do 0 0.7. And then the small planets will be, I suppose one. So let's play. And so now we have things moving at a different speed, right? So now it looks pretty nice. We have our the planets in the back, they're moving a little faster and they're kind of surpassing the they're going behind the planets, right? So we're using layers and parallax layers to kind of make our background look alive, right? So now we can have like buttons in here, add a main menu, whatever you want. And that's how we kind of make a parallax background. It's really simple with one line of code, right? It's very easy. Um, if you want, another thing you can do is just say scrolling speed. This is what I usually do, especially to test it. Um, let's delete all this and just have uh, export. Yeah, that's right. Um, scrolling, oh, I need to make it a variable, scrolling speed equals 40. And then to test it, I usually will edit it here. So we can change this to like 20 and then replay. And now it'll go, everything will go a little slower. This I don't like because as you can see, it's kind of clunky. So I'll keep it at 40. And so yeah, you can kind of test it however you want. Um, I hope this helps. This is a very simple way to make parallax backgrounds and it really, really adds a lot of depth to your game. I wish I have done this in my first game. It's very easy, really, especially with Godot. Um, I never, I didn't learn this or think about doing this for like probably a year or two into game development. So it's a good skill to learn. I would definitely recommend doing this or trying it out yourself. Um, and you can, again, you can do this with any like backgrounds that you have. Um, I just used a random asset pack I found online. Um, but yeah, most most uh, packs will have this sort of parallax background format. Right, so they'll have different layers for a background. Um, this is how you move it automatically. There are different ways to do it for a platform or where it moves depending on the player. Um, that's up to you to figure out though. But yeah, I definitely recommend this. This is an awesome way to give depth to your game. So uh, if you guys found this helpful, comment down below uh, what you guys would like to see next. Um, I am working on a 3D series. Um, I have to, I'm, I'm still learning it on my own right now. So I'm kind of building it a little bit before I actually make an episode for it. So uh, if you're looking forward to that, um, just hang tight, it's coming. Uh, I just need a bit of time to kind of release it. And also the Unity versus Godot video thing will be coming out soon, hopefully. Um, I still have to coordinate with my other friend to see what we're gonna do for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully those all will come out soon. Um, so hold tight and join my Discord, go like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.